You want a picture? Let me pose for you now. Today, we're gonna mash up the place. Driving a van back, spray a fire, tangent, fire, whatever was all over the place. <laughs> Just kidding, we're going to visit the JP farm that is in St. Mary. JP farm? So JP farm isn't just one farm, it's a lot of farm and it's big, massive and huge. If you like planting chips, you're definitely going to love this planting chips encrusted fried chicken. So stick around for that. First part we're going to is the pineapple field. Next up, coconut heaven. And third, the banana land. We're almost at 100k subscribers, so do me a favor and help us reach our first big milestone. Subscribe, enjoy, sit back and enjoy. Let's go back. Why yo, why yo? Yeah, look out feed people. It's going to be so amazing. We're going to explore the farm. We're going to drink some coconut. We're going to pick some pineapple. We're going to pick banana. We're going to cook the banana shoot. We're going to explore. You ever heard of Dora the Explorer? Yes, we are going to explore this farm. So stay tuned and look. Start off with the jump plum tree. And jump plum and look. Look a bit and sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One back to say. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have some pineapple and banana. Some juicy pineapple. Say why yeah. Why are you? <laughs> See if you can't manage the wind, don't drive in a van back. Yeah. I know that. It's a skill. No, it's a skill. Watch it. <laughs> why yeah. First up, we are going to make a pineapple. That's the first thing we are going to do. Hey, JP, they have some of my biggest pineapple bits. Big pineapple. Biggest. Them pineapple, yeah, like JP farm have some of the biggest pineapple. Like, what do you do? I always get them so big and juicy. Well, we'll take better good care of them, good nutrition. How much pineapple do you get for like every day per day? I mean, I would say average you now, maybe about yes, 14,000 pineapples a week. Wow, a week? Yeah, 8,000, 14,000 pineapple a week. Yeah, my gosh. You can break it. You can break it. You can break it. No. I'm break it. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah, I'm to it. I'm it. 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 So it. 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 Like it green on the outside. Alright, but now when our pineapples, pineapples when they're green, they're still sweet. What we do is we normally sample the pineapple before we have an idea how the feed stays. Every week we go through and we are test the growth and development of the pine. So even though you see it green and it mature, it is ready. So look on the size we know if it mature. You can check the time. Based on when we have it is planted. It's not well ripe, but look on it. Sweet like sugar. They may not burn sugar, they catch it. They're not just sweet. What exactly is the MD2? So the MD2 is basically the name of, the vari of this variety. It is um, a cross between two varieties. The MD2 variety of pineapple. It's a variety of pineapple that is more uniform in shape. You understand? It's more uniform, more cylindrical. If you can look at this one, you can see this is very smooth. Basically, rub your hand on it yeah. and no tar. These pineapples like generally have a higher sweetness than the local variety. Alright, one more pineapple, peeps. Oh, yeah, so we just got broke it off like that. 
Yeah. Why I? We're at JP Farms. Even pineapple for the look much fine, man. Like eight toes of pineapple per week. Right, that's just a crazy number. Look at this pineapple right here. This look really interesting. The shoot at the top right here. It has multiple of it. Because it's just big. If you go like any supermarket in Jamaica, majority of Jamaica supermarkets, you see the JP um, Pineapple, the JP Farm Goods. Yes, it's a real popular brand. I see now we use the eye dagger. The ground is big in a hill like structure because they want the water to run off the pineapple. They told me that pineapple don't like stagnant water. Stagnant water is when the water only sits one place. So with these hills, the water won't just sit one place on the pineapple, the water will just simply run off. What he's doing right now is basically make the road where we will plant the pineapple. And these ill-like structure, the pineapples are planted in a triangle shape. So started one at the front, two at the side, and just continue to go straight down. This ground might be empty right now, but soon this will be filled with tens of thousands of pineapple trees. As it regards to the whole place. Oh no, it's not only one farm. So in total, like how much farm is, is this in total? So in total, we would have yeah. seven, seven different farm areas. Seven. Huh? Seven different farm areas. So that farm area is split up between pineapple, jelly, and banana. Look at them dry coconut here, like. What do you do with them? Because this is a lot of dry coconut. With these dry coconut, you can basically cultivate more coconut trees. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You remember you asked me a question also if, it, if the jelly are big like yeah. the pine So really and truly <laughs> what we are doing right now I clean the tree them yeah. So when you clean the tree them you will have a bigger size nut because of less competition So the one that you don't want you yeah. take them out yeah, So when you pick up the coconut them and clean, clean it up like clean it up. to get more room to be bigger To get bigger, exactly Alright peeps, as I say, right about now, I'm going to clean the coconut tree. I'm going to clean the coconut tree nice and proper. So, as your friend explained to me earlier, like when I clean the coconut tree, and the coconut have more space, it, it will get bigger. You no know, joke people, them coconut look like them in full your belly. Yeah. You ever hear about jam belly full mango yet? Them yeah. coconut and them jam belly full coconut. Oh. Them big girl. Yeah. Ella, eh? so what's it like working on the farm? Hmm? Oh, it's like working on the farm? Yeah. Pick well, the coconut, them. You know, so you have unlimited coconut. Anytime you're thirsty, you can just drink a coconut. You can drink a coconut. Oh. Everything alright. Can't get thirsty, you know? No, yeah. <laughs> but still, you have to drink water, you know? Yeah. yeah, you have to drink water any way you want it. And you know me work for the farm, I'm gonna be a coconut. <laughs> the tourist is a coconut. <laughs> them just, them coconuts are just sweet, yo. Them coconuts are just nice and sweet. Wow. Oh, right about now, my belly full. And jelly is sweet. Ella. Alright. So, why are <laughs> so this coconut farm right here, so I realized there's a lot of coconut trees. So like how much coconut tree we are talking about? So in this farm we have 1800 but in this section that we are at now, 
Yeah. You have 900. They ask about how the gel is basically so sweet. Yeah, how the gel is so sweet. Well, it's basically a um, nutritional um, application. It's fertilized two times a year with a potassium based fertilizer. <laughs> I understand yeah, that. Fine. Well, we fertilize two times a year. Yeah. This are the most coconut tree you ever see. One piece, right? Honestly. And JP, I need to partner with me some more. Yeah. The other day, we make curry banana skin, people. Call up with JP, I will make curry banana skin. See the video, yeah? Let's make curry banana skin. You'll never waste banana skin again. JP bananas are grown on JP farms in St. Mary. These banana, full belly. Watch the whole video to win something. We start by washing and peeling our banana skin. Why? Now, cut off the top and the bottom of it. Cut the banana skin in your desired size and put aside. To our pot, we're gonna add avocado oil. Curry, give that a mix and add onion, bell pepper, kelly and thyme. Saute, then put water. Add the banana skin right after. Be sure to have enough water to cook it. Season with jerk season, onion powder, all purpose, and sugar. Same time, we're gonna add Irish and carrot. Be sure to taste the water before you cover. Banana skin will taste like 80% of what you season it. When halfway cook, add more curry. Now, we cook for a couple more minutes. We know it's ready when the Irish and carrot are stuck. Why, why? So, the coconut right here. I'm sure, pretty sure I could have made something with this. I don't know what yet, but if I sit down and think hard enough, you can brainstorm up a wicked recipe for this curry jelly. Mm -hmm. So, pineapple, check. Coconut, check. And right now, we are going to visit the banana. We eat in the van back. Hard right, we just eat jelly. We just Yo. eat pineapple. And no more banana. The banana, them big and juicy. The pineapple, them juicy. Juicy. Hey. Van back, we say. People with the JPA banana them, they are some of the biggest banana. Me see, me see so far in farming. Banana, 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 banana. So basically, in farm paradise right now, one million pineapple, one million coconut tree. Look at this. A trillion banana tree. If you're into farming and you love farming, you definitely are gonna love this tour. Right here we look like we have thousands of banana tree. A lot. This is just beautiful. Real beautiful. Somewhere over there, they even have a warehouse so they package the banana, wash it, a whole process. This is just so interesting. So peeps, and just stay tuned and look around. Alright, so you you are the tour guide. Hey Mr. Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, alright. So we have a couple of questions for you today, Mr. Benjamin, about the JP farm. You know, this right here looks like a million banana tree. Uh, this is a lot of banana tree. This is the first time I'm coming somewhere and I see this much banana tree. So tell me, like, sound weird, but like, how much banana tree we are dealing with right here? Sir? Like, an estimated number. Estimated over 1,600 per hectare. And we have over 200 hectare. Wow. So that's basically more more than 300 toes of banana tree. Wow. Exactly, more than that. Much, much more than that. All right, Mr. Benjamin. This is like it's a whole process going here, sir. Now, what if a different things going here, sir? But what's up with this thing? Like, what is the? This is called the arch. This whole the cable line. Steady. The cable line is what we use to carry the bananas from the field to oh. the pack house. So this is the cable line? This is the cable line. So this lead all the way to the pack house around there? All the way to the pack house. The banana is coming from the back of the cable line over 300 meters. And as you can see, they are pulling it on the cable line right to the pack house. Just look at the size of these banana. You look on like some seven inch banana right here, sir. So, we are going to test my strength on the JP farm. We are going to try to pull all of this banana. This light man. We did it. What are you? So this is what we are talking about. Just look at the size of this banana. If you don't know much about banana, you will mistake this banana for planting. No joke. So see it here? This is the banana shoot. Yeah, this right here is the banana shoot. And I know a lot of you never know say this could have cooked. You know, but we are gonna cook it today. So I'm really curious how this is gonna taste right now. Like 
Just looking at it, looking at it, I feel like this would have given like a cabbage vibe. Just the look at it, I feel like this would have given like a cabbage vibe. Just staring at it right now, this kind of looks something like a purple cabbage. Look real interesting. And we are gonna find out how this tastes sooner or later. Oi oi. Just look at that. So if you never try a banana shoot yet, peeps, we are gonna give you the experience on a life. That's the whole oi bunch oi. of bananas. This right here is the banana stock and you know I said this could have cooked. I will literally can cook and eat this. Curry, brown stew, the banana stock. Yes, I definitely have to do a TikTok video making something with this. Definitely. I don't like to explain to you again, like, where is the best part of the banana tree to get this, to harvest this. Is what is here in the base of the stem. No? It's not the top because in the top it's, it's more firm, it's on top. Yeah, you know, it's top it's more more fiber. Top. Yeah. You know, the middle are right here so we can find the nice, soft banana stock. We need to try it. Why are you? You are the expert, not me. Uh, good day. What's your name? Halloween. Halloween. Alright, so Miss Halloween here. I'm going to be with tour guide for in a day. What would I call this? Farmhouse? Pack house. Pack house. So Miss Halloween right here. I'm going to be with tour guide for in a day. Pack house. So I'm going to check it out and right away I'm going to get back to the base and start cooking right away. So Miss Halloween, this is how we're going to start. Right, here you can see the banana come to. We check the ungrade length and so this is the process after reaping the banana and bringing them come cross right here sir we we'll wash the banana a couple times we we'll get our first washing right here sir you can see it's still wet and over here what exactly are going right here sir? remove the banana from the top to the bottom the banana them transfer to this first and then get a washing nice and proper and then over here so give it a second washing oh yeah so the jp said here banana them like you get a whole heap of cleaning as you see what i want and that's not it over here so again we we'll spray the banana with fungi tile and with that do that preserve it from rattling the whole cleaning process people them banana are nice and clean so as I say, when you hear about curry banana skin, you know I say the skin, everything, take care and nice and proper. It's smaller and dark. These are the two perfect factors. And over here, so now, we pot the banana and let them dry. Pot them up, box them up and put them down. This is just a whole beautiful process. Like, first me I come from a farm and I love the experience. You know, it's a nice look. Everybody active. Yeah, I just wish we have some ripe banana now so I can sample it and show them. Big, juicy and sweet. You can give me two ripe banana? Yes! All right, give me. We only got a stick of these to show you how we stick up. Uh, see, I show um, with the stick of this, which yeah, give you an example. example what we do with this. So this right here is just an example, people, of the process. Like, oh, we stick of the banana. It's right here. You see? We're going to the supermarket. Anywhere, and JP banana. You're going to see the stick on it like this. See, I like that pose, yeah? You want another one? You want another one? Thank you. You're see ya? We have some lovely banana. Well, yeah, sweet, big. It's like everything on this farm sweet. Everything. We even can curry this. This right here, the banana skin, we can make curry banana skin. And it tastes real good. So if you're a vegan, experiment with the banana skin. Do not eat it like this, though. It's full of fiber. It's starchy. Do not litter the environment. Fertilizer. Well, yeah, we just come back. Here you go. Hey. You're welcome. The banana shoot. I'ma cook this up nice and proper. We're gonna eat that with rice. Let's cook JP banana blossom and chicken. The banana blossom takes the flavor of the chicken. If you follow me and cook this right, this might be your next best meal. We're gonna go to JP farm in St. Mary and pick some banana shoot. Strip the banana shoot till you're left with the core. In those strips, we have some young banana with blossom on top. We're gonna cut off the blossom and dispose the young bananas. Fill a bowl with water and add lime. Be sure to take out the lime skin and seed from the water. Remove this tough black thing from the middle of the blossom. Dispose of it and add the blossom to the lime water. Take the core, cut off the bottom top, chop it up like cabbage and add it to the lime water. 
water. Let all of this soak for 30 minutes. We're going to wash and skin our chicken breast. Cut up the breast in bite sized pieces. Season this with salt, jerk season, oregano, garlic, allspice. Rub it. Boy. Train off the banana blossom and add it to a pot with water, chopped garlic, salt, and cook this 30 minutes. We're now gonna cook the chicken breast till nice and brown. <laughs> When the banana blossom is ready, strain it. Wash and chop sweet pepper, scallion, onion and thyme. Clean the oil and saute the vegetables. Add the banana blossom and cook for 2 minutes. Now add the chicken, Irish and carrot, water, jerk season, egg powder and cook this for 20 minutes. This is an unbelievable transformation from trash to cash. Oh yo, peeps. Yeah. So we're there, in the farm kitchen. JP Farms. We have a pineapple, we have all of them good something there. Right here, sir. We got with JP plant and chips. We got with JP plant and chips right here, sir. We are going to use this like breadcrumbs. So we are going to crush this out nice and proper. And we are going to coat the chicken them with this. Right here we got a nice juicy JP Farm pineapple. The pineapple are just big and sweet. Ooh. This morning, we are biting at this. Come like we are biting at brick of sugar. So first thing first, we are going to make a pineapple sauce for it. Encrusted plant chicks fried chicken. So we are going to boil with pineapple sauce. Right here, sir. Pineapple skin. I just peel that off nice and proper. Gosh, man. You can taste the sauce already. Then pineapple are big and sweet. Gosh. Oi, oi. So, yeah. Pineapple skin. We're going to the pot right now. Before we boil it. I we'll just give that quick rinse. Next time you go to the supermarket and you see a JP Farms pineapple, get one, put it in your cart, bring it home, and cook it. Pineapple skin in that part. Look up what it's like for the next 20 minutes. Basically, you want to extract that pineapple flavor. So, here, our big fat pineapple. This is what you're gonna do. If you're not familiar with peeling the pineapple paper and cleaning it, I'm going to show you something. So right here, you see? These holes normally in a line. So when we cut it, we have to cut it in a, like, a big straight line. Just like this. It's been a while I peel a pineapple stick. No joke. Pineapple peel nice and proper. So right about now, this, we have to add this in our thing there. A pineapple sauce. We have to cut it up nice and proper. Slices. Just for the amount of sauce we are making, I think we are going to need all this pineapple. As I said, this is a pretty big pineapple. Yeah? So we are going to put a piece of this aside. Enjoy. It's been boiling for a good 15 minutes. We are just going to give this like the next 5 minutes. So the flavor come up. Yeah? And then we start with the sauce right away. So it's all pineapple in there. Nice juicy JP pineapple. Yeah, and this I will go in our sauce, people. Right about now, take out the pineapple skin. So, the water nice and yellow, mellow. Pineapple skin you can use for the other things. We can make tea with it. We can make juice. We can make sauce. Right here, sir. We got our ingredients: sugar. You know, so we start something nice and rich. Oh yeah. We got some chili flakes. We got some ketchup. Or we got some salt. Mix it up, just like this, to dissolve the sugar. Mix everything, combine, but also add some garlic, add some flavor. Not much because garlic powder is grainy. We don't want a grainy sauce, so we'll just add a little bit. Give that a taste. Mm. Can use a little bit more sugar. Alright, now we're going to cook this till it's rich. Probably take like the next 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Depends how high the fire is and the size pot. Patchy pot cover. Yeah. High flame and it can cook. Put some water for our rice. We are cooked for farmers. You know. We don't cook farmers them have to eat and lick off them ten finger. 
Yeah, all right, then we got some jerk season. Add some of that coconut powder, some salt. We're also going to use a piece of thyme leaf, piece of scallion first. Wash that up. Yeah, mix this baby up. Pierce it. Mm -hmm. Jerk season, do something to this. Last thing we're going to add, piece of butter. And now, we're going to have on the fire. Oh yeah, flame him up. I let him cook. Right here. Look at the pineapple sauce. My gosh, man, that smells so good. So that be every right there almost ready. Season this now. We're going to use some jerk season. We're going to use some jerk seasoning. This right here is the actual season, powder season. The first one I use was the blended jerk. Garlic. Oregano. And one more thing, help with marination, we got some hickory smoke jerk. And that nice and proper. And now we just massage this. And over here, sir, final massage just about ready. See that? Nice and rich, looking lovely. I'll taste one more. So, right now, we're gonna let this baby right here marinate. Mmm. Your tea is so good. So now we're gonna do this like about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we're blending up the blanton chips and put on oil on the fire. So the sauce, we can put it over here now because we finished it. Rice. It smells good. My gosh, whole heap of flavor you know. What we say? Farmer belly I got full. So farmers are live some luxurious lifestyle, man. A top chef company black and a cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then belly have a full. Mm -hmm. So, so like farmer, yo. Farmer. Farmer. In a farmer. 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 Chicken over there marinating. And over here, we did an interview earlier, and we made, we made a little mess, but we clean up. Bruh. So right here we got some blended plant chips. We're going to use this and coat the chicken. So you know so the chicken are nice and crispy. And this is on the breadcrumbs. The JP plant and chips this blend out nice and proper. We're going to blend some more. So in we go. Cover them up. So when we do this, if we just blend it straight, it now go blend properly. So I'm always shaking. So this will be the coating for our chicken. We're also going to add a bit of flour to this to give it some body. Right about now, time for the rice to add steam down. So just a pack it up just like this. We'll get some steam flowing through the pot. So we'll cover this up. Let it steam about 10 minutes or so. So this is how we are going coat the chicken in. We're going to coat the chicken in this. So right here we got some flour, regular counter flour. And to the counter flour, we're going to add the JP plant chips, just like so. Oh yeah, now we just mix this up, nice and proper. And we're going to coat the chicken in this. So right here, rice ready. This right here is our plant chips and flour. Nice and proper. Add them in the pot. Just like so. Like gosh, and as that touch, as that touch, the hot oil. You can smell it. It smells like plant and chips. It smells like KFC and plant and chips mixed in one. What do you have? Yeah, but you don't already know why your chicken better than KFC chicken already. Cut that one. It smells so good. My gosh, man, just look at that, Chris. This is not the average Chris people. Just watch it. Oh yeah, you're watching. Hmm. Definitely I've tasted the plant and chips. Oh yeah.
over style. Thank you, man. Why you don't say why you? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Miss Anderson? Why you? More food in there for everybody still. Why